Scientists using cutting-edge technology found hundreds of massive channels cut into the bedrock under the North Sea. Here are the details. In a new study published in the journal Geology, scientists show in detail the massive size and great number of huge undersea channels created by ice sheets when they melted at the end of the last ice age. The study showed detailed 3D images of hundreds of channels carved into the bedrock under the North Sea. The area where these channels occur perfectly matched the area that was covered by the ice sheet during the last ice age, which ended only 20,000 years ago. Scientists say the channels were cut by powerful rivers of meltwater that formed under the huge ice sheet when the Earth started to warm up. The researchers used boats with sonic equipment that pulsed sound waves to the bottom of the North Sea. These sound waves penetrate the water and sediment, but bounce off the hard bedrock under the sediment. These returning sound waves are then recorded and interpreted by computers to create highly accurate 3D images of all features under the sea floor. Scientists say this data helps them to understand how melting ice sheets behave, and this helps them predict how the melting Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets will behave. Research shows that the Earth went through many ice ages and warm ages during the last 2.5 million years, with ice sheets advancing and then retreating, only to advance again. In recent years, scientists have used advanced technologies like airborne radar to see how Greenland looks under its 3-kilometer deep ice sheet. They found that the world's largest island is hiding quite a few fascinating surprises. Here are the details. Live Science reports that recent scientific studies have found a number of fascinating phenomena hidden under the 3-kilometer deep ice sheet that covers Greenland. One of these hidden phenomena is a huge canyon that is almost as big as the Grand Canyon. Stretching for 740 kilometers, this hidden canyon is up to 10 kilometers wide and up to 800 meters deep in places. Another study found a massive plan in the middle of Greenland that lies below sea level. This strange depression is probably caused by the weight of the ice sheet and is surrounded by a ring of of hidden mountain ranges. Scientists were also thrilled to find evidence of a huge ancient lake bed that is now filled with a treasure trove of sample containing sediment that scientists would love to access one day. Researchers also found evidence of at least 60 small lakes deep below the ice. These are filled with crystal clear water that melted off the ice above. Scientists also found data pointing to at least two large meteor craters under the ice, and when an old ice core sample was studied more closely, scientists found fossils of plants that lived a million years ago. This old ice core sample was rediscovered in a freezer in 2017, long after it was originally drilled out of the ice in 1966 when the U.S. attempted to build a nuclear missile base in Greenland during the Cold War. Live science reporter Stephanie Pappas writes that this Cold War ice core sample came from northwestern Greenland and the plants held within may have grown in a boreal forest. Such a forest could only grow in largely ice-free conditions, suggesting that parts of Greenland's ice sheet may be younger than researchers previously believed. A new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the U.S. claims that the massive Greenland ice sheet is on the brink of a major tipping point. The study's authors say enough ice to raise the global sea level by more than a meter is probably already doomed to melt from Greenland in the next few decades. Here are the details. The Guardian reports that a new study of the ice sheet heights and melting rates in Greenland's Jakobshan Basin shows that the Greenland ice sheet is on the brink of a major tipping point. Rising temperatures caused by the climate crisis have already seen trillions of tons of Greenland's ice pour into the ocean. Melting its ice sheet completely would eventually raise the global sea level by 7 meters. The prime suspect for this surge in melting in Greenland is a vicious circle in which melting lowers the height of the ice sheet, exposing it to the warmer air found at lower altitudes, which causes further melting. Study co-author Niklas Boers says the findings show destabilization of this ice sheet is underway and might already have passed the tipping point. Boers said the findings suggest there will be substantially increased melting in the near future. Ice equivalent to 1 to 2 meters of sea level rise was probably already doomed to melt, though this would take centuries, and melting the whole ice sheet would take a millennium. Scientists say any large-scale melting of the Greenland ice sheet would have long-term global consequences beyond rising sea levels. It could halt the Gulf Stream ocean current, with potential knock-on effects of the Amazon rainforest and tropical monsoons. A team of scientists who study the world's ocean currents say the increased melting of Arctic freshwater is causing an imbalance in the salinity of seawater in the North Atlantic. They say this could lead to a very sudden shutdown of the current that carries warm water to the planet's northern reaches, causing a sudden and dramatic drop in temperatures in North America and Europe, as well as disastrous food shortages worldwide. Here are the details. 
The Guardian reports that climate scientists have detected warning signs of the collapse of the Gulf Stream, one of the planet's main potential tipping points. The research found an almost complete loss of stability over the last century, of the currents that researchers call the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC. The currents are already at their slowest point in at least 1,600 years, but the new analysis shows they may be nearing a shutdown. Such an event would have catastrophic consequences around the world, severely disrupting the rains that billions of people depend on for food in India, South America, and West Africa. While increasing storms and lowering temperatures in Europe, the AMOC is driven by dense, salty seawater sinking into the Arctic Ocean, with the melting of fresh water from Greenland's ice sheet is slowing the process down earlier than climate models suggested. The analysis was based on fingerprints the AMOC leaves in surface temperature and salinity patterns. It showed a critical threshold is being reached beyond which the system may collapse. While the scientists are sounding the alarm, others sound less certain. David Thornally of University College London, whose work showed the AMOC is at its weakest point in 1,600 years, said, The signs of decreasing stability are concerning, but we still don't know if a collapse will occur or how close we might be to it. Scientists found that warm water is eating away the pillars under Antarctica's so-called Doomsday Glacier at an alarming rate. This could cause the massive glacier to collapse into the ocean. Science Magazine reports that Antarctica's Doomsday Glacier is melting faster than expected and could raise global sea levels by up to 65 centimeters. With a surface area the size of Britain and a depth of up to 4 kilometers, Thwaites Glacier is called Doomsday Glacier because of its projected impact on the rise of sea levels. Data was collected by the uncrewed submarine RAN that made its way under the glacier. The drone submarine found that currents of warm water are finding their way deep into the ocean under the ice shelf. The fact that so much warm water is finding its way to the base of the glacier is alarming glaciologists. That's because the warm water is melting away the pillars at the landward side on which the glacier is anchored. The fear is that, if the ice pillars collapse, large areas of ice would break off into the ocean, causing the ice to melt faster and causing more ice to flow into the ocean from the land-based part of the glacier. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.